Hi ladies and hi everyone. Um, I'm back again. Um, my kids is in daycare again and um, I will uh, start preparing for my fall uh, series but uh, it's not there yet. So I wanted to show you this. I opened, uh, I got a, a package today and it's from Doreen. Uh, from Ulala Vintage Treasures. That was difficult to say, but I got that. Yeah. Um, I did a purchase. I purchased her beautiful uh, sparkling. Oh, you can see it in a moment. Uh, kit, and I ordered a. I made a customer order uh, of some. A lace a grab bag or um, a bundle of lace and everything is just amazing so she doesn't she has a zippet store and I will of course put a link down below where there is the link to her Facebook group uh, where you can show off uh, the amazing uh, project you all make uh, and uh, and there will be uh, an announcement when she makes kits and, and uh, I will also put a link to her zippet store um, and um, I opened this uh, earlier today uh, and I'm sorry Doreen uh, the video it was so shiny outside and you could actually see nothing on the video uh, I had uh, half uh, shadow and half light and it just didn't work and um, that's why I am recording again uh, this evening so I have opened this and I am so grateful and she she did surprise me a lot because um, well let's read, read this one Hi Karina, uh, thank you so much for your purchase. I also uh, deeply appreciate all of the beautiful handmade uh, precious that you gifted to me. Park Doreen. And yeah, I sent uh, Doreen as a thank you uh, a couple of uh, items. For example, the big. Um, uh, I made this wall hanging uh, with dangles and everything. I sent that to her as a thank you for inspiring me. I think her kits is really, really inspiring and uh, it was uh, my start of uh, doing shabby chic and figuring out how to buy uh, uh, real shabby chic uh, items in, in the second hand shops. In the beginning, I do as everyone else. I purchase uh, red and blue and everything because it has the right texture, but it's not the right color. And I'm thinking, oh, that really does matter. It does matter, but it is a beginning, and that's okay. Um, but what Doreen um, has teached me by uh, by when I purchase her kits is that uh, the white colors, the combination of things and the materials and everything and uh, it is very inspiring. So thank you Doreen, uh, I just want to say that. Okay back to this, um, there's a die card with a beautiful uh, rose image. It could have been from a magazine, from a card or something on a chocolate box or something like that and then she put a uh, bow and a um, dangle and and that's enough for a card and it makes it very special and then love on the envelope and great idea so this is actually what I purchased and what I can say about uh, Doreen and all allowed and vintage treasures kits is that she always does something special so she has like this is just a thank you note like and there's uh, standing uh, thank you so much for your purchase of my 
Pearl Perfection Sparkle Kit. Uh, enjoy Doreen, Ulala Vintage Treasures. And that is just a note. But it's just not just a note. It's a big, huge centerpiece or um, a bling piece. She has put personalized it with thank, uh, snippets and a lace, a snippet of lace and put some bling in. Yeah. And she has gathered it. So, so actually she has sit and cut it out, making sure that everything is uh, neat and, and has this uh, look that she really likes. She always wraps up with beautiful laces. And she tea dyes and avocado dye her own laces. And this one is just so soft and it's so pretty. And there's enough, you know, for a book page or something like that all around it. But then she uh, has these envelopes. And here is the sparkling kit. Pearl Perfection Sparkling Kit. Uh, that is so beautiful. And what she has done on the background, uh, she has uh, this um, oh cardboard. Uh, no, yeah, it's black with some beautiful uh, colors, rolls, and everything. And then she has this. Uh, I don't remember what it is. And then some stars on top of it. It is just so nice. And it's just so personal. I am amazed. It's like this. These ones are pearls and gold. And this one is uh, uh, a silver background. So yeah. So that's it for this one. Then there's the lace kit, and she always makes these beautiful small snippets and a little bit of dangle and everything. So this is actually a hair piece, but look at these, isn't that cute? And I can use this on top, uh, use it for gathering uh, laces or something like that. Then she has this one. And that is small centerpieces or bits and pieces you can do, uh, use on snippets. Uh, right now there's a lot of snippets uh, on, on Ulala of uh, small hair clips with snippets on. Um, and this one, this is really nice. It's tall and then organza or cotton. I think it's cotton on top. She always has some kind of gathered, uh, uh, ruffled trim, and they're just so amazing. And this one with satin and everything, and she just took it like this, and she put the pen on. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, there's a lot of bees, because my neighbor is making honey, and the bees is just everywhere. <laughs> and it's okay. And she has these plastic bags, but it's not just a snippet there or a zip bag. It's like it's with gold and all these swirls of cream. They're so pretty, and you can decorate them and use them again. And then she makes these bundles. I'm not sure I've uh, uh, closed this uh, the right way. She always makes these beautiful bows and everything. Um, but I took this off. And what I wanted to show you is she has this one. This is excellent for dangles, but it's also this teeny tiny trim. So, and there's just a lot of it. Then some, I think this one's, we will call it crack, crack, crack. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what kind of, but it's like this shabby bow she've made around it. 
and then there's this one. She always takes her laces when she makes kits and she uh, sends out laces. Uh, they're always uh, bound with a, um, with lace, and and it's always uh, sending out like this. So it's like a big big tassel. <laughs> It's just so nice, uh, but the one she have used here is elastic, and it is like I'm not sure how. And it's like this tea dye color, and everything she does uh, does color combinate very very nicely. So there's this one, and there's this beautiful one, big one. Excellent for flowers, big flowers. Uh, and there's this one. And she has dyed this one, and this is very, very soft. But as you can see, they're just two different colors. And this one is the same also. And then there's this one. I think it, that one of them is tea dyed and the other one is, is uh, coffee dyed and then there's the white one but it, they are so soft. So I got three different colors and this one, this one is very very pretty. And then there's this small branchy one, it's like a zigzag or yeah, can you see that? Yes. And then there's this big beautiful one. Yeah. These ones I like to put uh, small pearls in, in the middle of the flowers. And then there's this one. This one has to be an antique one. She likes to go to antique uh, stores and, and uh, sing in hand shops and find her her materials or her laces and stuff for her kits and there's this one I'm not sure how to I think it's this way and then there's like this one they're just many of them is small and nice and this one this is like more um, a fiber one. And then there's this one, this is cute. It's not very easy, this showing off pieces. And this one. I like the scallop. And this one. I'm not sure I'm turning it. This one. Oh, yeah, they're very special. And I really, really, really think her kits are an amazing. So, and then it was tied up with this soft, soft. It's like a linen or from a bed sheet or something like that. It's striped, but she tears everything, and it just makes it so shabby, and it's beautiful. What I can do with this one is either a rolled rose, like this, yeah. like so, or I could, oh, there was something else I was thinking, yeah, a gather one, of course, like so. Like gather, and there's enough for a couple of, I think, three flowers, so that's nice. You could also just uh, take and and uh, wear it one more time and and use it for um, angles. So, and then she surprised me because her totally new kit, and I. Of course, don't remember right now what it's called. 
it's like bits and pieces for snippets and um, this is actually her new kit and she has it in the store and thank you Doreen I didn't I'm so surprised that you sent it to me that wasn't uh, why I'm sending a partial to you it was because you really really inspire me with all your beautiful kits and your laces and everything but let's go through this one I will put a link to the video where she explains her kit because she also makes um, YouTube videos and uh, she has of course her snippet store uh, sip it snippet store not snippets so this is the way she packaged it she has this uh, how do you say dangle with pearls there's a pearl here and then we have a lock and a ruler a applique beautiful applique and it's of course tea dyed this one I didn't see that in the beginning this is so gorgeous look at that and there's even the tiniest little flower dimensional uh, crocheted on this little piece and then there's this uh, material and all of this you can make into one snippet or you can cut it in two and have it for two snippets that is just amazing and then the lace trim here uh, I have never seen that before so amazing and what she always do does is uh, she has these bags this time it's a brown one and as I said, I have taken this one out before and what I saw was she actually cut this one up so it match the background so when you like have nothing in it like so you can still have some decoration in it it's amazing, I love that so she always has some kind of uh, uh, clothing uh, that you can decorate. And then she built up this a snippet of a bling. And there is this, I don't know what that's called. A piece of that, there's a piece of this. I think it's from a shirt or something like that. And then there is, there's always some kind of tatting. Uh, in her kits and this time it's a um, doily a beautiful tea dyed doily uh, and then there's more of this beautiful trim uh, with satin and then there's some of this lace and then some of the beautiful fabric and what she's telling in the video is that she has actually made this so you can if you want to decorate it like so so the box where you get all the beautiful goodies inside uh, you have it like this so let's see what's inside the box because she has made this kit where you get bits and pieces of everything so she has like these beautiful clothespins I don't remember what they're called because actually every time you tell me I really don't care it's a close pain but it has a special name but it's like a sewing theme so she has these dangles with buttons and she has a beautiful uh, um, pink button some of these beautiful uh, lace trim what do you call it appliques that we also saw on the and her sparkling kit here see so that's the same so I can make more butterflies like that or um, bows yeah and this one look at that 
Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. And then a ruler and a heart. And they are all in this, uh, it's not bronze, but it's like this antique looking uh, metal. Then a scissor, one more button, and an applique in the lightest pink. And she has some of these ones, clothespins, or not clothespins, they're hairpins, I think. And uh, you can make it into a snippet uh, pen. I think I will call it a snippet pen. I don't remember what they called. And then here it is. This is the snippet trim. I don't know. I think she has someone to, to make it for her. And they're just so amazing. I love to play with them. Um, a lot of buttons, more of the clothespins some uh, bits and pieces of uh, jewelry, uh, crowns, there's some of these ones, I, and then there's uh, Doreen's signature, and that is actually these small ones. These are different antiques uh, from an antique uh, jewelry, where she has displaying, and she always have these in her kit. This is her signature. And they are in different sizes in here. That is a beautiful uh, pearl. And we have three flowers. I don't know. I think maybe she does them herself. I'm not sure. So, yeah. These ones. Like satin ribbon. Has this one. I would love to make some of these. I have the pearls, so I will try it. And this beautiful bling piece. This is not white. It's actually more a uh, gray. And it's not silver. But then there's all these blinks around it. So yeah, love that. And this piece. Also for a flower center, and then a lot of different um, pearls. She has these beautiful uh, teardrop uh, pearls. I love them. Um, there's a, a oh, I don't remember what it's called in English, but well, they are shaped, you know, like cut. And some of these ones, there's some cream and white and more uh, buttons and stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, to play with in the white and cream colors. And in this piece, there's uh, these, it's almost like a powder or a um, powder. Uh, pink, I don't know, dusty pink, I think. This is my favorite color. Um, so yeah, in two different sizes. So yeah, uh, just to, uh, um, yeah, I love her kits. <laughs> and this one is totally not expected. Uh, that wasn't the point. In my first video, I was saying, oh, this was not for me. I think she sent me the wrong one, but actually uh, she's just so generous and she makes these amazing kits and please go over and look at her Sipit store um, if, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Um, there's also um, the Facebook group, not to forget, that is important. Um, so yeah, thank you Doreen, uh, I love your kid, uh, and um, it is just so pretty and so inspiring, just this piece in itself, these beautiful decorations that you put outside your uh, packaging are so beautiful. Um, 
and it goes so well with everything else I own so yeah um, that must be it for this time in the next video I will make I will show you how far I am with my projects uh, some of them are done and I think I will show you how I do the flag or how I um, I uh, yeah I'll uh, okay I am inspired and thank you so much Doreen uh, and have a great um, vacation and uh, so yeah thank you so much and uh, bye